Hi, I'm Jill Zaracor, the Children's Services Coordinator at Dove. So it is the uh, Children Exposed to Domestic Violence Program. We um, provide uh, long-term therapeutic counseling for kids and teens who've experienced domestic violence either in their own home um, between caregivers or if they were um, in an abusive relationship themselves as a survivor as in um, most some of the teen relationships. Um, I also provide short-term parent support to parents um, who I might may or may not be seeing their child um, that can help with talking about behavior, how to talk to your kid about domestic violence, how to talk to kids about a separation, how to support kids that are going through um, uh, you know, challenging things or just to uh, support parents and helping basically anything that would help a parent support their child going through this. Um, if you do not have custody, unfortunately, you cannot sign your child up for services. Um, if they are in DCF custody though, DCF can sign them up for services. So um, I just need whoever has custody, um, legal custody of the child to be the one getting the services for the kid. Um, but you are also, you're able to get the parent support whether or not you have custody of your child. So DV Counseling for Children um, looks a little different than adults. Uh, it is long-term services, so it is more, um, looks more like therapy than advocacy. It is once a week, typically a 50 minute session and it looks different also from adults because kids communicate differently. So teenagers, it might look more like we're sitting and talking, um, but for kids, especially the younger you go, it's a lot of play. It's a lot of um, discussion and communicating through games, it might be drawing. So it looks different than adults, but um, has a purpose of making kids, kids communicate through play and art and wanting to have them feel comfortable and safe and set up an environment where they can play through or act through some of the big feelings they're feeling and um, with an adult that can help them talk through it or play through it. So I am a mandated reporter, so if a child shares that they are um, being hurt, if another child is being hurt, if um, there's abuse or neglect of anyone under 18, an elder, someone with a disability, that is something I do report. So that is something I would share with the child. I'm gonna get another grown up involved in this. That is something that I would share with the parent before I made a call to the um, appropriate agency. Um, the child does have confidentiality with everything else in regards in the session. So I'm not going to, the child or teen, I'm not gonna tell their parent, either parent, what they're saying in therapy and their sessions unless it is something that um, I would need to make a report on. So um, if they're having challenges with school or different feelings about what's going on with their parents, that's not anything I would share. I don't report anything to the courts. I don't report anything to DCF. Um, I can tell DCF if the family is DCF involved that yes, the child is coming to sessions. Um, these are some of the goals we're working on, but I don't get into specifics. Um, about what the child is sharing because I want it to be a place that they feel can be safe and secure and um, they feel like I'm not, that they can share and work through hard things without fear that it's gonna come back and they're gonna get in trouble. So completing an intake, um, I work at the community office but I do have my own um, extension so it is on our website, the, it is the main office number, an extension 320. Um, uh, however, I really encourage parents if they are interested in getting counseling services for their child that they themselves also get connected to an advocate um, or if they're not connected to one of our advocates that they have an outside therapist or a clinician that they're seeing um, just because counseling can bring up a lot of hard stuff for kids and their behaviors might actually increase before it gets better. So wanting to make sure that parents have the support needed if that were to come up and there are different things that um, might come up for parent or child and wanting to make sure that everyone in the family unit has their own um, support systems to be able to work through things.